Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now vault. But notice how I put them in fine piles within the designated 10 and a quarter inches from the curb. Before Stephen Roth starts worrying about the woes of winter weather, he wants to leave the leaves behind. Are you getting in shape for shoveling? No. <laughs> uh, we have a snowblower. Are you prepared? Are you ready for it? Sure. Do I think we're going to get it? They haven't been right yet. Now, if Channel 2, of course, has been right all the time. <laughs> what is right, say many, is to always... Be prepared. Get ready ahead of time. That's what folks were doing at this hardware store. People weren't eating up the ice eater, but it was a hot seller today. At the sled shed, it wasn't sleds, but snow blowers that were selling and being repaired in record numbers. Tom Furnish says the store's been busy since it opened at 8. Johnny come lately, you know, he wishes he had been here two weeks ago, but he's here only today, you know. <laughs> Street crews are readying road graders to do battle against up to six inches of snow. People who planned on cruising home for the Thanksgiving holiday found themselves instead crawling home. Traffic was flowing slowly at best along Interstate 380 in and around Cedar Rapids shortly after the snow blew in. It blew in, blowing people off the road. In some instances, resulting in more serious situations than others. By 2 this afternoon, city road crews had 20 graders clearing the snow and ice. They were advising motorists to get off the road by nightfall when freezing weather sets in. While the snowfall instilled fear in some, for others, it was fun. What perfect timing for the holiday, huh? I know. <laughs> at least we've got snow. you got to look at the bright side. It's winter now. <laughs> That's the bright side? That's the bright side. <laughs> I like snow. <laughs> like it or not, we are in Iowa, and winter is here. Many people found themselves laboring over their drives instead of their dinners early this Thanksgiving Day. That's what Bill Griffin was doing. You're obviously enjoying the holiday. Yes, so far. <laughs> yeah. But it's my enjoyment soon to end, soon as I get done here. <laughs> so uh, you're working for that feast today, huh? Yes, yes. Making an appetite, you might say. <laughs> An appetite for the snow is what Christopher Brown had, but it wasn't the same for travelers like Scott Molly, who drove from Minnesota to Iowa today. There were a lot of uh, cars in the ditch. I think we counted maybe 20, 25 uh, in the ditch. And it's kind of a situation. You got some people traveling too fast and some people driving about 15 miles an hour, which almost causes more trouble too sometimes. So what is it like driving in this stuff? <laughs> I don't know whether you'd say fun or not. <laughs> Different. Different and difficult for some to get used to. That's why the Iowa Highway Patrol is warning motorists. Uh, some spots are still icy, uh, bridges, overpasses, protected areas. Uh, the wind blows across it and it ices up and uh, it just comes upon you real quick unless you're watching for it. Okay, the correct number for the road and weather report is... Bedledge says people too were making the mistake of calling the Iowa Highway Patrol emergency number for weather information. That, he says, tied up lines needed to help those in trouble. While many think this weather is nothing but trouble, Bill Griffin thinks on the positive side. Hey, we're in Iowa, aren't we? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it hits us every yeah. year. <laughs> Better than Kansas City or Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Reesecraft, Channel 2 News, Cedar Rapids.